So again, it's trying to take a look at the overall uh, shape of the character, in this case, this pepper, and uh, taking a look at the volume of it, the shape of it, building it up from there, and kind of looking at the outside, just kind of giving a basic beginning line, and then slowly starting to take a look at the contour line, trying to build that up, creating a looking at the volume for it, finding those edges, following it across. This has a circular piece, so it's almost a five-star section, this rounded part. You can kind of see the volume that's in there. But the contour line that you see is kind of going light, all dependent as well on the light source as it comes across and wrapping itself. So you're trying to find the volumes that are beneath it and at the same time look at the lines that are creating it. Here's almost a circular piece that you lay inside here and around from that has the same same idea with this star shape. Okay, so then when the stem gets into it, it's very cylindrical to start off with. As it slowly comes up here, it's just this cylindrical shape tapered, but it also, when you take a look at the construction of it, see if I can zoom down a little bit, it has the structure right up there, let's see. Okay, so is this part, and I'm kind of making it as a tangent right against the edge of the page. It's going to cut itself off right here. And again, trying to look at the thick and thin lines that we've talked about. Trying to find those outer edges that make up this entire stem. So it's kind of a cylindrical piece, but very organic. And then you can start to see the tone and the shading. So then as you go back to this, try to see, you can see a highlight wrapping around here. If this had the cross contour lines, you can kind of s slowly begin to see that section to it. And then as it gets further down, it becomes a little more tapered. Cast shadow is pretty, pretty highlighted there. It has this at the end, tapered nice. And again, as you follow this, you can see that the contour line of this one, let's see, wraps itself around. This one, next volume overlaps it. And it's very, very organic lines that you're putting in there. And seeing if you can place that section right in there. So the contour, again, representing the outer edge. <clears throat> when you take a look at the inside piece, you're trying to see as a cross contour line what is happening to this inside section wrapping it around. And just kind of taking a look. And once you get that, then it's going to help you with the shading to follow that section across. <coughs> and if you start with just the half tone, half of the side of this piece, blending it around, and this, the way you shade this is going to help define the volume of the entire piece. So I'm just kind of exaggerating it right here, following the stem. building it right around to the top there. You can see the cast shadow is pretty obvious, so you can always adjust it to fit with the current drawing that you have. <coughs> see if this part gets out of my way here for a second. There. And so the detail that you can start to slowly build up, but it's, it's like a light value based off of the dark tone. Put that together. So take a look at your reference and see if you can put this drawing together. And again, if you take a look, the darkest dark in this reference for this photo right here is right about inside here. building that part up. 
And you can exaggerate the contrast. Let me take a look at what's happening in there. Let's see how you go there. Remember, the base tone has the reflected light just a little bit beneath it. Sketch around this entire volume here. Right along here, here's the cylindrical part of this stem. And it's showing the top of that right up there. And it does have the cast shadow coming down a little bit on the surface. Place that in there. You can kind of see the stem edge and it's a pretty crisp shadow so you can locate that in there and that's going to help with the volume of the piece as well <coughs> okay so see